Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my May favorites video for you and it's my very first favorites video ever so I'm really really excited to show you guys all of the things that I've loved throughout May month. There's beauty stuff, skincare products, hair products, fragrances and nail polishes so there's really something for everyone in this video. So if it sounds interesting then keep on watching. So let's get started. Okay, so first up, I'm going to talk about my favorite makeup things. And I'm going to start out by my favorite concealer for this month. And it has definitely been this from Rimmel. It's the Wake Me Up Concealer. And it is just amazing. It both illuminates and clears up your skin and makes you look more fresh and more awake. Therefore, the name Wake Me Up, clearly. It is in the color Oaten Ivory. And I think it's the lightest one that they've got. It also is really, really great at hiding spots and blemishes and so on, so it's really a really nice all-rounder concealer and I really, really like it and that's also why that this is definitely my favorite concealer for May month. Next, I'm going to show you my favorite bronzer and this month has definitely been dominated by my Chanel bronzer and it is the Sodé Tan de Chanel bronzer in 917 Sable Rose and it looks like this. It is just a beautiful colour palette really. Um, it's got um, the bronzing pa uh, colours up here but it's also got some um, pinkish undertones and some yellow undertones which is really really great for my skin. It looks amazing it's actually the one that I'm wearing today if you can see it. It is really really nice and really easy to use and to wear. Definitely my favourite for this month. Next up is my favourite highlighter and for sure it has been my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Soft and Gentle. It is just this really, really beautiful highlighter. And it's got, I don't know if it's kind of bronzy undertones to it, but it just really, really looks nice on the skin. And it's actually also the one that I'm wearing today. I just really, really like it and it really, really makes you look really fresh and nice. If you don't know this one, it's really, really nice and I think everyone can use it, really. It goes great for every skin tone and every skin type. Next, I'm moving on to my eyebrows. And for me, it's also been a MAC product. Um, it is the MAC Duo Brow Palette in the color Brunette. And I mostly use this color here, which I think is uh, Coquette, I think. Um, it is really, really great for my uh, eyebrows and it really works wonders. It is definitely the best eyebrow product that I've tried for a long, long time. So, really, really love this and I'm going to keep on using this for a long, long, long time, I'm sure. Next up is my favourite eyeshadows and I just had to show you this um, MAC Paint Pot. It is the uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Uh, it's called vintage selection. I think it's from the limited edition of paint pots from MAC so I'm not sure if you can get it still but if you can then definitely go check it out. It's got this bronzy taupey colour which is really really nice and it gives just such a beautiful finish on your eyelids really. Um, it's great to use just as it is so it's really really great as a base as well. Um, I just really, really like this product. It's really easy and nice and simple to use. I've used it a lot through May month because it's just so easy and fast and yeah, just an overall really great product. And my next favorite eyeshadows are the Naked Basics uh, palette. It is definitely worth the money and the hype. It's been hyped so much on YouTube and on blogs and so on and Believe me, there's a reason for it. This is amazing, I promise you guys. It is a palette filled with six basic colours that goes great for your everyday makeup and I really, really like it. I especially like the colour Foxy blend and then blend it with Naked and Faint in your crease. Um, that's actually what I've done today and it looks really, really great, I think. Um, you can really dress it up or dress it down as much as you want, really, but you can also do a really, really natural eye with this um, palette. So I really, really like it, and I just think that Urban Decay makes some amazing eyeshadows. Um, I've also got the Naked and Naked 2 palettes from Urban Decay, and they're just like my holy grail products, really. They are amazing, and if you haven't tried them yet, 
then definitely go check them out. They are incredible and totally worth the hype. Next up is some mascara and throughout almost every day in May I've been using this mascara from Oriflame or Oriflam, I don't know how to say it. Um, and it is the Wonder Lash Mascara. It's the one that I'm wearing. It lengthens my lashes really, really well. It doesn't give that much volume though, but it really gives a really nice everyday makeup look to your lashes and that's what I really, really like about it. It is really, really easy to apply because the wand is very long and it's not that thick, so it's really easy to get all the way into your inner lashes and your outer lashes as well. So yeah, just really, really like this. The next thing that I'm going to show you is my favourite lip gloss for this month and it has definitely been my lip gloss from Dior and it is in the colour 003. It's a peachy colour which goes really really great for everyday use. Um, I've just been using it over my own lips with no lip colour than my own so it's really really great and really nice and I really like the formula of the lip gloss as well. It's not too sticky, it's really really nice and leaves a really nice gloss on your lips so I really really like this product. And the last beauty thing that I'm going to show you are my favourite lipstick for this month. And because spring has arrived and it's almost summer now, I've chosen a really cool colour and it is from the Rimmel Kate Moss collection and it is in the colour 02 which is this uh, fuchsia pink-ish colour and it's really really cool and really nice. If you think it's too much to totally wear you can just do like this. Just hit your lips with it and it gives off a really really nice colour as well and that's actually what I've done today so it gives a really really light colour on your lips which looks really fresh and nice for summer. So. I really really like this one, it's really nice and really affordable as well. Next I'm going to show you my favourite nail polishes for this month and it has definitely been these two colours which have been dominating my nails lately. They're both from China Glaze and this one is the 965 Electric Pineapple. It is just this really really wicked uh, yellowish colour and it's almost neon actually, it's really really cool and really fresh and really nice for this spring and summer. I really really like those kind of colours that's just in your face so when people look at your nails you're like whoa just look at those nails and yeah I just really really like this one so fresh and so cool. The other one is also from China Glaze as I said and it is the 947 Ahoy or I don't know how to say that Ahoy it is just this really really nice glittery pinkish uh, colour which I really really like as well. It's really really fresh and really summery and you know us girls we like our pinks so um, definitely one of my favourites as well. Next up is my favourite fragrances and for this month it has for me been the Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. It is really really fresh and it's got a really really um, kind of fruity flowery uh, smell to it. I'm really really bad at describing smells by the way but um, it's just really really fresh and really summery and that's what I really like about it. It's got a wicked smell somehow and that's what I really really like about it. It's kind of spicy in some way but still really really nice. And the other one is a bit more gentle in the smell um, and it is the Burberry Bridge here. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it's a bit more refined and a bit more uh, laid back and I think you can both use this for every day but I also think that it's really great for a night out or a date or whatever you're going to, some dinner parties or whatever. So it's really, really nice and, and really fresh as well. So I really like that one. Next up is some body products and the only body product that I've got to show you this month is one from The Body Shop and it is the Coconut Cream Body Scrub. Um, it's really really nice and really really great for your skin. Um, I use it once every week in the shower where I just put it on my skin everywhere and then I just cleanse it off with water. It smells like coconut and as you can see I've actually hit bottom of it so I've been using it quite a lot. It's really really great and it really does its job. When you've used this your skin feels so nice and just so soft so I'm definitely going to repurchase this one when 
um, out of it. Next I'm moving on to some hair care products and also the only thing that I've got uh, to show you this month is my Moroccan oil uh, hair treatment. It is for all hair types and it is amazing. I use it after I've uh, showered and before I blow dry my hair. I just use one pump that's enough for your hair and then I put it into my um, into my hair and it really makes it really really nice to work with when you are blow drying your hair and it really protects it from going frizzy and wild it just really really settles your hair and makes it easy to work with it definitely makes my hair look much more um, fresh and healthy which is a really really great bonus especially when you dye your hair like I do. Because of this product, my hair looks super fresh and healthy. So, um, mwah to this product. The last things that I'm going to show you are some skincare products. The first one is um, this from Beauty Pacifique. It's the Extra Dry Skin Fix. And this is just extremely moisturizing and really, really great. I've used this every night and every morning. And I've had some problems with some dry patches on my nose and on my chin. But thanks to this product, they are all gone. This is really just a wonder product and it really, really does its job. I'm going to keep on using this because it really, really works. It has repaired my skin so well. And the last thing that I'm going to show you are also for your skin. It is the Origin Super Spot Remover, which really works wonders. If you haven't tried this, you definitely have to go check it out. It looks like this. It's super, super small, but really, really effective. It is a blemish treatment gel that you put on uh, where you've got some spots on your face. I just take a Q-tip and um, put some of the product on it, and then I um, put it on the places where I've got some spots on my face. And then I let it sit overnight while I sleep, and in the morning, I swear to God, I'm not lying, my blemishes, if they're not gone, at least they've got much better and less red and um, they are not breaking out. Love it! So guys, that was all for my May favourites video. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed this. I really did and I really like sharing all of my favourite products with you guys. If you guys have some favourite products to show me, then I would like you to do a video response to this video. And please let me know what kind of products that you have been liking throughout May. You can also leave a comment down below and please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm still new to YouTube and I really, really want to do more videos like this and get more subscribers so I can do more things like tag videos and everything. Please let me know what you think and thank you very much for watching and have a really, really great day and evening. Bye!